Status waspada di Belgia berada di level tertinggi. Puluhan orang meninggal setelah tiga ledakan terjadi di kota Brusel. Dua di bandara dan satu di sebuah stasiun kereta bawah tanah. Dan berikut koresponden CNN, Karin Kaifa melaporkan informasi terkait serangan di Brusel. A major European capital is on lockdown. All flights canceled, subway, bus, and train service canceled. We heard from the Belgian Prime Minister a short while ago. He called this a dark day for his country. We were fearing terrorist attacks, and that has now happened. In Zaventem Airport and at a metro station in Brussels. Here is what we do know so far. There were three explosions, one at a subway station and two at Brussels Airport. At around 8 a.m. Brussels time, 3 a.m. Eastern time here in the U.S., two explosions at the departure lounge of Zoventem Airport. About an hour after the airport blasts, an explosion at a subway station in the suburb of Malbec. This is an area where a number of European Union institutions are based. Both attacks at a busy time of morning. Take a listen to an airport passenger who was there when events unfolded. It's 8.15 local time here. Um, suddenly uh, about two to 300 people went rushing away from the security checkpoint toward the, the gate. Um, initially, no one knew what was going on. The terror threat level in Belgium is raised to four. That is its highest level. Authorities are concerned that the attacks may not be over. Many asking about a possible connection with the capture of Salah Abdeslam on Friday. He is the Paris terror attack suspect who Belgian and French authorities had been seeking since November. Authorities not making any connections there yet. Meanwhile, here in the U.S., national security officials are on alert for any potential copycat attacks. In cities like New York and Washington, there is increased police presence around airports and, of course, around subway systems. President Obama is, of course, traveling in Cuba. The White House says he has been briefed and will continue to be briefed on the situation in Belgium. In Washington, I'm Karen Kaifa.